Hey there fam, welcome back to another episode. This one is going to be another Marvel themed one, another Marvel character. In fact, she is a Spider-Man related character. Yeah, well, yeah, this is a, a Spider-Gwen, or as I lovingly don't call her, Ghost Spider. I really don't like that name. It just does not, to me, it just, it, uh, I have a problem with that name. And I'll tell you that problem in another video, because I have, I don't, I don't really know why I don't like it that much. I think it just makes her sound, like, cheap. Like, it's just not a good name to me. It doesn't sound right, so I'm gonna call her Spider-Gwen. But this is Gwen Stacy from Earth-65, I believe. And this minifig is the 2019-2020 version of her. The only thing that's really different in this case is the hood piece, which technically makes her the 2020 three version technically it's like the newer version and i was able to get this figure because I, I actually work at bricks and minifigs which is really crazy to say um to me and i was just like uh basically looking through figures and essentially i was organizing figures and i came across a couple marvel figures like uh ghost rider and mysterio and one that I, Mysterio is one that I definitely want plan to pick up at some point, but this one was in there, um, you know, Spider-Gwen, or, you know, Spider-Woman, as she's known in the Spider-Verse movies, and I just found her sitting there, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna claim this, and I claimed her, set her aside for buy, and later that day, I did buy her, and she was only eight bucks, not too bad, and I believe she comes in, the first set she came in was that one Spider-Mech versus Venom-Mech set, I still kind of want that. The main reason I wanted that set was actually for the builds, but the biggest reason why I wanted it was for this figure. And now I have her. It's really awesome. Um, her detail is actually not as, like, complex as other figures we talked about. For instance, the Wonder Woman figure we took a look at a, a while back, that one's really detailed. Same with the Kate Bishop and even the Jack Sparrow and the Wolverine. Some of those other figures that we've done recently have a lot better detail. Well, technically, they're much more detailed, but this one is great. I am a huge fan of Spider-Gwen as a character. In particular, I'm a huge fan of Haley Steinfeld's version of her in the Spider-Verse animated movies, which are, to be honest, I think they're some of the best Spider-Man content that, that, are, that, that are being made, or that have been made. If you haven't seen those movies at least once, you need to do so. They are very creative, they're very fun, they're very cool, well-made, and the stories are amazing, a pun intended. And Spider-Gwen in particular, I love her in those movies. And I, part of me kind of wishes that the Spider-Verse movies would focus on Gwen Stacy instead of Miles Morales. Not to hate Miles, I really like his Spider-Man but I don't love him like a lot of people do. He's a great Spider-Man. I just feel like Gwen is a more interesting character to me. That's just my opinion. But I love this minifig. It's great. Um, She doesn't come with any accessories because in, I believe this version comes from one of the newer sets. Um, I don't remember the set off the top of my head. Um... It's hard to keep track of a lot of them. There's some other Spider-Gwens, like from the Spidey and His Amazing Friends, that one animated show that no one watches for babies. Um, and they made some, like, duplo... Not duplo sets, but anyway. There's some other versions of her that are out. And, um, so I think they're they're definitely lamer than this one. This is meant to be the, the comic version or the movie version. Technically, it is the movie version of her. It could be both. But anyway, um, let me get to the figure itself, which is great. I love the color scheme, first of all. Although, I feel like they could have definitely done some printing on the legs. They're very basic. I feel like they could have definitely printed teal or put teal boots dual molded into the legs. Because Spider-Gwen's outfit is normally very colorful on the bottom, especially with the, the, like the boots of the suit. And I don't know, I feel like the detail is a little bit lacking with the black pants, but it's not terrible. It's just something that could have been there. Hopefully you can see her better. There we go. That's why I can turn up the lighting a little bit. But yeah, I love her outfit. It's very nice. I like the white with the black. It's very cool. It's very stylish. You know, it's very 
different from Spider-Man versions in the past, for sure. Um, the only piece that's newer here is the hood. We'll talk about the hood later, but I love the, the colors, especially up here. You can see a little bit of her underarm detail and the top of her shoulders where it has the, uh, the dark pink with, or like the purple with the teal. And it's really awesome. You can just see a, a hint of it on the top of her shoulders here, which looks great. Um, it gets continued onto the back as well. Hopefully this doesn't want to break again. The, um, the spinner has been acting up recently. You can see the more detail. It's just the, kind of the same uh, design you can see there. And I really like these lightning bolts on the back. The torso for this one is so well designed. It's so well decorated, I think. And it looks great from all these different like little details from the like the you can see her like her shoulder blades peeking out. You can see like the fabric moving, and uh, you can see kind of the the suggestion of a female body shape because obviously Spider Gwen is a more not shapely character, but she's very young and physically fit. So that's what they're trying to come across here. And it does a, they did a great job. You can see her costume as well from the front has a very distinctive V shape. You know, coming down here, it's a bit tight. She's got, you know, very uh, tight muscles. And it's really nice to see, you know. It's simple, but at the same time, there is some great detail. I do think that they could have made her arms maybe dual molded with maybe a little bit of pink or blue, like, printed onto there as well on the tops near the shoulders. I think that definitely would have added, but I think it also is too much to ask for. For, especially for a first version, because this is technically the same as the 2019 original Spider-Gwen. It's just the hood is different. That's the only difference. But yeah, a bit basic, but this is actually what she looks like in the comics. I, I'm not, I don't really follow the comics really at all. I'm not really like a comic reader that much anymore. I have read quite a few, but I'm much more of a movie, TV show, media type of person especially when it comes to Spider-Man or Spider-Woman stuff. So if I'm going to be following Spider-Gwen, it's probably going to be in the movies, which, um, again, Haley Steinfeld does a great job. And this is technically my second Haley Steinfeld minifig. Um, I have Kate Bishop as well. I can grab her real quick. Uh, again, you guys know how much I love this minifig. Kate Bishop is just phenomenal. Um, just they nailed her so well. And they also nailed Spider-Gwen so well. Um, but yeah, uh, let's talk about the hood piece before we talk about the head design. If I can get this to work, this is still newer, so give me a second. And here's the hood piece. I honestly feel like the hood piece doesn't work as well for Spider-Gwen as it does for Miles' figure. I don't know, the, the, the hood piece is very nice. It's just, it doesn't really match her hood shape to me. It's definitely not a bad look. And I'm glad I have this piece, but I definitely prefer the old hood style, which in this case is this piece. I actually got this from the Batwing, the 2019 Batwing set with Shazam in it. And I gave him a hood for some reason in that set. But yeah, that's this piece. And I think it matches, I, it just looks a lot better. And they used it in that Venom X set. And that was the first time that they used this hood piece with her. And it looks so much better. I love the shaping of the hood of this original piece. It's been around for ages. It covers a little bit of the eyes, but it just looks so much nicer. It looks so much more accurate, but we're not going to focus on that. So we're just going to put this back on her. Uh, there's no alternate face, by the way. It's just a black, uh, white head, which is fine because she's wearing a mask. And the eye detail is great. It is extremely simple. In fact, I think this might be the simplest spider person mask design in Lego. <laughs> because it's just two eyes with pink and white. That's about it. But it looks great. And that's what matters, right? And one more thing. A couple more things, actually, before I end here. Um, I am going to be displaying this minifig uh, upside down, actually, on my wall, minifig wall. And I'm going to be using this type of design. So she's going to be upside down. Uh, I need to get some web pieces for her, but she's going to be hanging now, down there next to Harley and above Rex Danger Vest. It'll make sense once you see it, but yeah, that's how I'm going to display her. I think I'm also going to add pink gloves instead of the white. I think just to have a little bit more color in here. 
And lastly, I did want to show an unmasked version. This doesn't come with the figure, but I made my own unmasked version of Gwen. And this is an older Gwen, so imagine this being an older uh, Gwen, maybe like mid-20s. And I have a couple of hair options for her. I have the uh, Lloyd Garmadon hair from the Ninjago movie, and the Holtzman hair from the female Ghostbusters set. I wanted to try and give you that look here first. So that's the first look here. I love the detail of this hair. It looks so fantastic. But I do think the blonde color is a little bit too light for her. But that's my first look. I'm, I'm definitely thinking about going with this one. But I think this hair is, matches a lot better to the Spider-Verse films uh, with Gwen's hairstyle. And it looks a lot closer to her hair. And the color is definitely better with this one. But it's just, again, a, a personal preference. I think this is definitely much more accurate looking. Uh, but I like the hair design of this a lot better. It just looks a lot nicer. But it's all up to preference. Um, let me know what you guys think. Would you prefer her like this with this hair? Or the other hair with the blonde? Let me know. Um, but yeah, that's her. I don't think I'm going to be unmasking her on the um, wall. Or just having her unmasked. I think I'll just have her with the original hood piece. And then she'll be upside down. But that's about it. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, also, this Spider-Gwen came out in the in the set, or the Spider-Man that came out in that original set is this one, the 2019 version. And we did a video on him not too long ago. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of a comparison between them. Um, again, I definitely think the hood piece of the, the original hood piece is stronger. But I just wanted to give you that look with the new one. I, again, I, I definitely really like this figure with the new hood. I just prefer the old style of it. But... That's about it. I'm really happy to have this figure, of course. Um, and, and who knows, in the future, I might get Miles Morales. But that's about it for this episode. Let me know what you think. Hope I covered everything. And, um, yeah, stay tuned for more in the future. Do you have this Spider-Gwen figure? Do you think it's good? Do you think they could do better? And what are your thoughts on the unmasked options I presented for you? And what are your thoughts on Spider-Gwen in general? Do you like Ghost Spider better or... Do you like some of the other Spider-Gwens that they've made, uh, such as the more recent ones? Let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you later. Peace.